everyone, welcome to the first season of Crafters SMP. Yay. That's really all I've got for this speech. Woo! Woo! Let's go! <laughs> yeah! Okay. Watch me! Let's go! Yeah. <laughs> Stop. You're probably wondering what the Crafters SMP is. The Crafters SMP is a Hermitcraft-based SMP that I applied for and ended up getting in. But anyways, let's get back to the video. Um, we're probably gonna like die from the we get there. It's so far out. We need to probably set our spawn. So yeah. We have to track oh, there's out. a bee. Hi bee. Yeah, when we get there, the spawn. Did you just say hi bee? Oh, there was a bee. By bee. You don't get chased by it. Why are you chasing me? <laughs> hi. Oh, it's because I'm oh, holding a flower. Bars. I'm bringing him with us. Oh yeah, let's go steal all the bread. People are already there. Quick, steal all the bread. <laughs> I need it. <laughs> Bye, bread. We have, to go, we have to go this way. Yeah, I'm going to grab all the bread so we don't run out of hunger. Bread. Bread. Bread, bread, too. No, no, no. We, we, there's gotta be more. There's always so much. Yeah, I see. Let's get it. <laughs> oh, I thought he wasn't gonna be able to make it. That's good. He was able to find time. I need that bread. I'm gonna. <laughs> We've got a fourth. <laughs> bread. 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 My bread. <laughs> find more. All right. I will have you know you're in my territory, so please respect the land. We just stole bread. All right. Okay. Bye bye. Uh, well, the bushels of bread or bushels of wheat are fine to take. That was to be expected. But don't trample stuff here. Okay? No, no, no. I, I have big plans. I have big plans in this area. No, we need bread because we've got a very fun long journey. Oh. Yeah. I Hammer figured. to your head. Hello. <laughs> You want me to kill it for you guys? Ooh. I I I got it. I got All it. Right. This is it's fine. You can you can we can we were gonna go end up at like two K blocks now. So see you later. Alright. Give me a minute, I'm gonna make my uh food. If we get lost, send a search team to come find us. Okay. Alright, All right, we'll do We're not gonna get lost. Alright, I'm gonna go mining I think, so that poor iron golem. I'm trying to find a key. What did he ever do to you? Sir live. This is the start of the iron farm. <laughs> it's, it's, it stops the uh, the movement pings because the server knows where a boat is at all times, so it's 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 almost faster because <laughs> you don't ping it up. Okay, let me help you with that. <laughs> that doesn't make any sense. I suppose you're wondering how we got here. Oh, I got out of the boat. <laughs> I'm I, well, it all started when this server started. Cut to flashback. And that's how we got here. Okay, I'm lost again. <laughs> uh, okay, so it's this way. I found you. I mean, down, I look back up at you. It just took me 20 minutes to eat a berry. Oh. <laughs> oh, oh I see you all the way down there. Oh my god, there's creepers here. <gasps> oh my god. <laughs> yeah. No, none of that. Hey! Good stuff. I totally wasn't just watching and laughing. Uh, I'm getting chased by a creeper again. Hey, if you die, it's 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 fine. It's not life suing. Oh, I zombies. Yeah, as soon as you got an iron farm, nobody cares about iron. Oh no, there's a baby zombie with a sword. There's two. Oh my god, there's a baby zombie with a sword. What is going on? Ah, ah. Where are they? Oh, one's over here on me. 
there's a baby zombie with an iron sword, and I, I, the, the lag is helping in this scenario. Cause that was just like, oh my god. Alright, I'm gonna come- oh, oh my god, he's down here. Oh, he's burning to death because of the light. Okay. Okay, I see them. We're just not gonna go back that way. One of them's dead. I killed him. I killed the baby zombie too. Did you get the baby zombie or the normal one? Diamonds! Oh god, I think Mariah Curry's the frosted. She's shooting about at me. It's a skeleton. <laughs> Okay, mobs of the air, don't fall and knock me into the freaking lava while I'm mining this diamond. One. I hate everything. I got one diamond. This game hates us. Yep. So, oh, now that I have a large plot made out, we're gonna get to building the starter base. Here we go. A good while to plan and build as well as having a completely furnished inside it would even make green cry so it's been a minute since I've played and the server has grown a lot I've been working on a lot of villager trading and ended up going to the end get one of these here's some clips of that journey Anyways, I've decided that uh, I would like to make my shop. And so that's what we're going to go do today. And that's how we're going to finish out the episode. So I've just come to spawn and jeez, this place has flourished. We've got a beacon for every single type of effect. Uh, the nether portal has been turned into a hoe. We've got this shop that's new, this shop that's being built right now out of Cherry. This shop has been here for a bit. This is Ticherius' shop, which seems to be pretty much out of everything. Actually, it's not. We've got this shop that's under construction. This shop's been finished. And then that shop's appeared over there. As well as the carrot in the center. This is insane. People have done so much work over the recent. Uh, few days. I want to check out some of these shops before I get to building. I've got 25 diamonds and I want to see if I can uh, spend them. What is this? I want. There's probably a, a sign or something out here. The jump boost is a bit annoying. <laughs> That's so much gold. Oh my god, I could use that gold so much. This is such a nice pumpkin. They did a great job on it. And then you've got like the, the seeds kind of in here with the uh, green. I know they're not supposed to be green and it kind of looks like mold, but I, I'd like to think that they're the seeds or the guts inside the pumpkin. I think they did a great job. 
Anyways, that is a lot of golden carrots. And they've got pumpkin pies. This is great. So it's a pumpkin, it's a food shop. Let's take a look over here and see. Nothing's been put up in here. This shop's been finished. This used to be an iron shop. Still an iron shop. Iron and more iron. Yep, seems to be iron. What do they have over here? Dusty's dust. What's in here? That's nothing. We've got gravel. Uh, one diamond for two stacks. It's a lot of gravel. Uh, and you've got sand. That's a lot. I might buy a lot of that sand because I cannot be bothered to go get sand myself. This is my shop currently. I've got a plot laid out for the shop and four chests uh, selling a certain amount of uh, things. We seem to have gotten a few diamonds from them. But they put the they put it in the middle. Oh lord, we've gotten several from here, and yep, they've taken the last of the, um, the mending. So, this cannot stay. This looks bad. And we need to fix this. However, I don't want to use the entire plot yet, as I'm not going to be selling all of the enchants like I'm planning to in the future. We're currently only selling five different enchants, each of which I have in here. We have a full shulker box. Now, we're not going to have to use all these, but I've got unbreaking three, efficiency five, silk touch, protection four, and mending. Each of these has their own shulker box and will be going into their own chest. So I want to make a small shop so that this just doesn't say as an outline. And this shop will kind of grow and change over time. And so I wanted to do this more as a kind of a freehand way. So I brought a ton of resources here that I can use for this. I brought some lanterns, spruce and some oak, and some different types of stone that I can use. So I'm thinking I'm going to kind of make a wagon. First step into building that I use is I like to get a reference. And what I'm going for is something like the wagon that Green built in the beginning of Hermitcraft Season 6. Are you spawn a real one? Are you spawning one? At... <laughs> I saw the torch and saw that it wasn't gonna work. But what? <laughs> oh, oh, okay. So there is a visual difference. Okay. I see. I see. Look, look at, look at this. Now I'm gonna spawn a real one. Now I'm gonna spawn the real one, and you're gonna think, and you're not gonna think I actually will. <laughs> <laughs> no! No! <laughs> Not my problem. Okay, I'm gonna lead it away. I'm gonna lead it away. Not and my problem. Oh no! Spawn! Oh no! Don't go there. That's my plot. <laughs> oh, spawn! 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 Oh, Oh my god! I was trying to build a cart! This is why I did this, so I, so we, I wouldn't have competition. I'm gonna have the only pick shop. I need hunger. Bro! Bro! I'm, I'm gonna have the- I'm gonna be the only one with the bookshop. This is why I've done this. Bro! <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha 
This is cop It's coming after me now. You know what? There's a shop over here that that this is what we're gonna do. So Brew has declared competition. She wants the only bookshop in the server. And this is her response to me actually building my shop. Well, there's a funny area over here where you could put a hit on a player. Let's just say I've bought that hit. So it seems that the wither has been killed. So we're going to get back to building this. However, this won't be over. And I will be retaliating. So I wanted to get started with a nice uh, design for the wagon. Um, I was thinking I'd start by using some of the oak for the wheels and maybe some of the spruce for a lot of the inner stuff like the carriage and the axles. We'll see where it goes. I'm going to freehand it. But you can make some... That's not how it works. You make some nice... Uh, make some nice wheels if you put four different stairs together like that. However, it's kind of got this weird opening in the center. You can also do something like this. Put two blocks there. And then make it like this. And this will look really good. You could also, if you wanted yeah, to, yeah. open up the center like this. Maybe put that in there to, as like an axle. And then maybe, if you wanted a stone button center to kind of be like the center of the axle. But I think that looks good. Now, for consistency, I think we might want to use stone as are sort of axle and then they kind of make an axle like that and that's a bit elongated like that however it's the best you can do because minecraft is a pretty limited game now i think i'm gonna make it one more wide i think five will be good it's a pretty wide carriage. I might actually, I'm going to take off two. If I want to change it, I'll do so later. And then we're going to make one on this side as well. One of these wheels. All right, now that we're done with that, we've got our two wheels. Normally, from the axle, you'll have the length like that. I'm going to need a few more to make that. And now we've got another axle. Now, if I wanted to, we could do something like that. However, that doesn't look extremely good. So what we can do, instead of that, I could maybe take a slab like that and make it kind of like the axle if I wanted a smaller wheel. Maybe we can do a full block and then two slabs, maybe with one being a bottom slab here. And, two, and so two slabs, one on top of the other. I us to do that. And then we could put a two by two wheel on there. Maybe this time instead of uh, the oak, we use spruce. We make it just like this.
That's a bit far forward. Maybe we put this on the back one. Hmm. So I think I want the axe to kind of look like this. I think this is a pretty good looking axle. Maybe we can pull it out one extra. Instead of leaving it there. We can pull this out. And make it a double long axle. That looks pretty good. And we just need to put... Another four. And there we go. We've got the axle of our carriage made. So now, we're going to need a floor. I think we're going to use slabs for our flooring. Because they'll kind of allow us to put our stuff kind of in the floor. Making it so it takes up a lot less room. And then we're going to have it, of course, end in a point. This will extend out to here. I think that pretty good. So now, we can use maybe some upside down stairs. I think that looks pretty good. However, I don't see kind of a partition between the wheels in this. So, I think instead of that, we could use some stone instead. Yeah, that definitely looks a lot better. And it keeps with the theming of it. So, now we need sort of posts for it. We're going to put our stuff. So I'm going to destroy these. And I think we'll destroy them. Here. I think, I think these are good positions. We're going to put full blocks. Instead of the slabs. And this will kind of let us be able to make a tent. Now... I want to add some wool to the front. So I'm going to go get some wool really quickly. So I've gone and got about two stacks of wool to cover this. And now I'm going to get going working on covering up all of the... Oh. While we were gone, we made a few diamonds. Oh my god. Crazy. I think this looks pretty good, but I need to figure out how to get people in and out. And I think I'm going to use the same method that Green used back when he did this. Basically, if you put a carpet onto a pole, you can climb up it. You can kind of make stairs like that. You can get in by climbing up. I think this is a great idea that he came up with. And so I'm going to use it for mine as well. Now we had to put some chests down. But what I think I'm going to do is we have five slots right here. One for each chest at the current moment. I'm going to make these full blocks. So now I've got the main part of the shop that up. However, we're going to need to do some stuff around the terrain. So, I've got these stone looking blocks that we're going to use to make the terrain look a bit better. So, I've finished the build and I wanted to add one last touch as a nod 
to where we got this reference from. We're going to add the chair that the old man sat on in Green's Hermit 6, Hermitcraft 6, right there in the same spot on Green's cart. I hope you guys like this video. Thanks for watching. And in the next one, I'll be retaliating. Goodbye!